Right, welcome back. Um, we're looking at angles still. Uh, I'm going to give you two facts today. I'm going to show you exactly what you're supposed to do with them as well. Okay, so we've got angles around a point and we've got angles on a straight line. Okay, I'm going to look at angles around a point first. Now, if you look at this diagram, all the lines here join up in the middle. That there is your point. Okay, and your angles are obviously around the point. Now, angles around a point add up to 360 degrees. So on this one, okay, we've got to find the missing angle, okay? Now, we know what this is. If there's a square there, okay, this bit here means that it's 90 degrees. Okay, so all of the angles here have to add up to 360 degrees. So we've got 90 plus 130 equals 220. So we've added up everything that we've got, okay? And now we need to take it away from 360 degrees. So we're gonna do 360 minus 220 equals 140 degrees. So X equals 140 degrees, okay? Don't forget your degrees sign, please. Okay, so angles around a point, add up to 360. The other side of it, angles on a straight line. Now, the, here's your straight line. Okay, so work on the straight lines, and there are your angles. Your angles literally on a straight line. Now, angles on a straight line add up to 180 degrees. Okay, so we need to work out what X is. We're gonna do 180 minus 100. Now, we should also have degrees in there as well, and that equals 80 degrees, so X is 80 degrees. Things you need to know, angles around a point add up to 360. Okay, angles on a straight line add up to 180 degrees. I'm gonna give you a worksheet to go along with this as well. So make sure you answer the questions, please. If you've got anything you need to ask, by all means, email me. Otherwise, have a good day, guys, okay?